Funnels that you visualize conversions and drop offs on your site. I'll show you how to create a funnel with conversion rate and average time to convert metrics. You'll also see how to compare conversion funnels for different segments, how to click through to watch recordings at each funnel step, and how to add a funnel to your Hotjar dashboard. Let's take a look. To show you how to create a funnel, we'll be following an example scenario. Over on our demo site, I want to understand what's happening in our contact flow. I'm going to create a conversion funnel for users that are contacting us through our pricing page. You have a choice between three conditions to define each funnel step. These are viewed page, clicked element, and event. For our example, I'll select viewed page in the first step. I'll then leave this as URL contains and enter pricing. This first step will include sessions where users viewed our pricing page. In step two, I'm interested in users that clicked our Get In Touch Now button. So I'll select Clicked Element, and the text on the clicked button contains Get In Touch Now. This text matches what users see on our pricing page buttons. The final step targets contact form submissions. Each time a visitor to the demo site makes a contact form submission, an event called Form Submission is being sent to Hotjar using Hotjar's Events API. I'll select the form submission event in this step. My funnel is shown below, and I could also apply session filters if I wanted to further refine the sessions I'm interested in. For now though, I'll change the time period from 30 days to 3 months for my funnel. Looking across the funnel, several metrics appear. First, we have the total conversion rate and average time to convert for the entire funnel. On each funnel step, I can see the conversion rate and the number of sessions. I can also click through to recordings for either conversions or for drop-offs. This lets me view the actual user behavior behind the funnel metrics. I'm now going to show you how to compare funnels across different segments. Back on our demo site, we have sessions from the UK and from France. I'd like to see how these two countries compare across the funnel. I'm going to add a country filter to the existing funnel to show only sessions from the UK. I'll then click Compare With, select Country, and choose France to create a comparison funnel between the UK and France. Comparing these two groups, I can see conversions in France seem to be healthier than the UK. To investigate this further, I could click through to recordings of UK sessions that dropped off in the funnel. Other funnel comparison examples could be checking which marketing channel is converting best using the referrer URL and entering UTM parameters, or comparing product adoption or conversion rates based on different subscription plans. Looking at funnel views, there are three options available. We have the common funnel steps view, there's also the conversion over time view that helps you understand when a conversion rate change happened. You can click through to related recordings at that time and see why the change happened. The third metric only view gives you an overview metric that you can also use for comparing different segments. When you're happy with your funnel, you can add it as a widget on your Hotjar dashboard by clicking on the Add to Dashboard button. Then giving the funnel a name and clicking Add to Dashboard. Over on your dashboard, you can change the funnel type and you can move the funnel widget to a position that works for you.